I can't stop changing forms. Help me! Yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. All right, let's go through this door and find some more. This is a rather tricky puzzle room, and also, um, this is also one of the probably the best hiding locations for a fairy. You're going to need this, and oops, I shouldn't have overwritten that in math. Uh, I need that, that, and that. Turn this on. Check this out. Did you see that? Yeah, that ceiling. You you can't see that hole in the ceiling when you don't have the lens of truth on. I just put on the mask there. Just, yeah, um... You'd only be able to know that's there... If you, uh... Have this... Yeah, if you have this fairy jib... I mean, fairy mask on, great fairy mask, because... Look at it without the... Yeah, you, you can see a little bit in the ceiling that's a little bit off, but that's not uncommon in N64 games to be, like, some sort of, like, a little bit graphically off, per se, I guess you could say. Um, oops, well, I, I guess I'll talk to Tattle first, because I know the solution to the puzzle. Why, do you think you push down something this way while just standing on top of it? You know, you have to find some way to pound it down. And remember the controls for the Goron. Ah, uh, do you, do ya? Do that. Curl. Bound. Yeah! But that just locked the door. What the heck? How the, well, now how the heck do we get across that? I mean, well, we we can do this now, right? Right, right? I mean, but but then there's th then there's this switch here. And it's just like, well, we're, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna curl it. We're gonna pound this. And then what this does is it raises that one. And then it goes on a timer. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit that switch over there. I mean, you gotta hit, excuse me, you gotta hit this down over here. And knock this down thusly. But I was gonna kill the bows off first before I uh, have ire with them, because they could knock me off this platform while I'm trying to climb up it. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't have to. But I will have to come... Oh, I will have to, have to come back in this room a little bit later on, though, the, because there is a... Uh, uh, well... Hold on a sec. I just want to see if I'm gonna... I don't want to miss anything here. Maybe because maybe I don't have to come back in this room here. But I don't re I recall... There, I thought they were... Like, if you kill them all off, you'll be able to get a prize. Hmm... Maybe not. Maybe the prize is convenient, so that you don't have to worry about them knocking you for a loop or something when you're trying to do this puzzle. <laughs> so yeah, now I have to kind of kind of redo the puzzle. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Easy peasy, one, two, three, Z. There we go. All right. So let's go through this door now. And yep, looks like you need to be a Goron to make this. So let's go and as far back as we possibly can. Yeah, and there we go. And now there's this here. Oh, no, we can do nothing. We can do nothing. Oh, but there is this strangely uh, suspicious slope on the sidewall. Remember we went through a slope when we entered this place? Well, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of have to get used to doing these. And later on, we're going to have to get used to doing these without any sort of catchers if you fall. So you might want to do a little bit of practice um, before you do, yeah, before you do any of the higher ones. I, 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 I can do it, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little, little bit dicey. Um, I just want to take a look, see down over here. I think there is a, um, there's something in that pot over there on that ledge, if I recall correctly. Uh, no, it's just hearts. Well, I mean, I guess that's nice, but <laughs> I just don't want to jump down there without actually needing to jump there or not, but yeah. Alrighty, I guess, I guess, I guess. Oh, yeah, you can jump on this ledge, huh? But you couldn't jump up that other little pillar on the, in the other room last part, huh? Huh, huh. Ah, whatever. <laughs> So I should probably go into Goron for him, because he can kill these in one shot. There you go. And I thought there was something... Or maybe this is for a little bit in the future. Let's see here. Because I thought maybe... 
No, yeah, that platform is something that moves up when I shoot that eye, uh, with a certain flaming thing. So, maybe I don't go here just yet, but instead, I crisscross over. That makes sense. And... Don't fall, don't fall. Oh dear, Arceus, don't fall. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because I noticed I was at a slight angle. But I I went for it anyway because it looked correct and it was. Oh, this is so clunky. I cannot believe. See, what's happening is when you're a Goron, when you're trying to punch something, if you hit a wall, and you, you very easily hit walls when you're punching with a Goron, it'll completely cancel out your punch altogether. Here's a wizard robe. It's a mini boss. Yeah, that's actually a wizard robe. They're pretty silly in this game. And they're also pretty easy in this game if you know the strategy. Just go in a corner, and uh, you just wanna. Well, that's. I didn't have enough time to do it there. But what you wanna do is pull up your bow, prepare to shoot. The reason why you wanna go in a corner is because it's just easier to see all the spots that he can appear from right away, and then you don't have to worry about any sort of guesswork. So I'm just gonna wait this out here. I'm just gonna, yeah. By doing it this way, he won't be able to really get any shot in whatsoever until maybe he gets to this point in the. Yeah, that was, that was a nice camera angle there. You're looking for the solid one. In this case, it appeared right in front of me. What's the solid one? What's the solid one? It is over there. Yeah, he's he's trying to buy himself some more time so he can shoot. But since I have full view of the entire room, he's not going to be able to get a, a single shot in whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, once you know the strategy, it is pretty much over. <laughs> over before it even begins. <laughs> Alright, dungeon item time. And we get, you might have guessed, the fire arrow. So now he can melt stuff, but it costs magic power, so don't abuse them. What we want to do here is go in here and assign it to a button. You know, just assign the fire arrow to a button like you would your normal bow. See that? That cancel it out. This turns on the fire bow, but you can also um, just move it to another button thusly. Yeah, like any sort of item. But so yeah, you don't necessarily select the bow first. You just have to select the fire arrow first. Anyway, let's go back on through here now. Pop this on, and now we can do the stuff in the other room, which is actually more like making a shortcut, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I don't want to fall. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so this right here, let's move out of our Goron form, and we can also kill those in one hit now, with the power of fire. So let's burn that, turn it on, and we've created a shortcut! Yay! And I'm actually going to utilize that, because I would like to go back and flip-flop around doing stuff back over in these frontal rooms. So let's go ahead and do that, namely killing off all these guys. Remember I said I wanted to kill all these off? There's a reason. There's a very good reason. Well first, there's a shortcut there by the way, but if you kill off all these, behold a treasure chest appears, and I do believe it contains a stray fairy, yes, yes, open says me. Whoa, it did not contain a stray fairy, I was wrong, it contained the small key! Um, well, now that we have the- alright, oh, no fall down. I mean, I wasn't able to roll at that angle, but whatever. Not a big deal, I'm not taking much damage anyway. So I'm just gonna go flop on up over here, and then I'm gonna go back over to the main room. Again. <laughs> And uh, the Wolfus is probably gonna get in my way this time. But hopefully, I can kind of do this before it'll get in my way. And I'll roll out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Now we have access to a, a different wing of sorts. Kind of. I mean, it, it is. It, it's sort of like a shortcut of sorts, but it, it's. I do believe vital if I do that for stuff to get around. Let's just put put it that way. So let's just go back over here now, through this door, and we're now in another room. We're, we're in that pillar room, where I thought that the fairy was down into, but it's at, well, it actually wasn't. <laughs> so this isn't 
all that difficult of a room per se, but the issue is that I've got to get all those torches lit, and I don't have much magic. Thank you, I will kill you off really quick here. There's that punch issue! <laughs> this game, I swear, there's just so many things that's overlooked that could have been fixed in polishing. It's unreal. Uh, there we go. I just want to clear stuff out here. Just to kind of make things easier for me. There we go. That's another reason, too. But mainly to make things easier. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe this is the one that has the, of the fairy that I'm thinking of. Because remember, I thought killing the other Freezards would give me a fairy. Ah, this was the one! Okay, so it was essential. It wasn't just like a, a regular prize or something like that. Um, I suppose I will burn this open, because why not? Um, st I still want to light those torches, though, so I will do that. Uh, I just want to try and figure out the best place to do this at, though. Probably this side for maximum speed, and I might be able to light two at once at this angle. Let's see here. Because I think they, they they go out after a while. Oh, no, that's actually quite ineffective. Because that first one's blocking me. Uh, there we go. It's number two. Like, your you're firing for arrows is really slow. That's why, why you're hearing me going da dung da dung Because the effects of the first fire arrow haven't wore off. And that I can't shoot arrows in rapid succession. So there's a weakness to the fire arrow of sorts. Alright. And now the main puzzle of the dungeon begins. What you do is you pound this, it makes a humongous pillar appear out of the ground, blocking everything. But you need this to reach the final room of the area. So now we gotta figure out our way around the stinker somehow, some way. Can I get my magic refilled here for the future? Yes, I can, thank you. And I will now go across to this side. Why would I want to go across to this side? Well, now, now, remember I said I was making different pathways and stuff like that? Well, take, take a look at this. See that... Yeah, we have no way across now from here because that middle platform is up. So, what you gotta do is you gotta go around that middle pillar See, there's multiple ways to get around this dungeon for a reason, and that's because of this middle pillar. You gotta sorta kinda figure your way out around here. And yeah, as you can tell, we still don't quite have a way up there now, do we? I should say back up around there. See, what we're, our goal here is to reach those lighter colored blocks in the middle of those pillars, and we're gonna punch them out like, literally punch them out. But didn't this place have the stairs to go upstairs? I thought it did. Uh, yes it did, but it also has other stuff, like, and since I have the fire arrows now, I can puzzle it up. <laughs> uh, I'll take care of that. Don't mind me, I'm just kinda just passing through here. I will touch this block if you don't mind. That will make a chest appear over there. Which I need to use the blocks to get up to to get. Uh, I wonder if I can do it while I'm being swatted at by wolves. Probably not. <laughs> In all honesty. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I want to do a jump attack. I was pushed back too far and I was not doing my proper stance. Oh, the other one got in my way, dang it, because he would have blocked my... <laughs> I don't know how I hit him there, but whatever. I will accept this hit with glee. Oh, I'm trying to just speed this along here. <laughs> there we go. Just want to get one more to go, and I can do the puzzles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, come on. Yeah. Get out of my way, man. I need to be able to puzzle it up. Also, give me your prizes, because you made me take a long time. So, okay, now notice that this floor is slippery. Push the block once, it'll slide all the way to the end. Yeah, it's one of these sorts of puzzles. But it's not that difficult. You can just kind of shimmy-shangle it all around here without much issue. 
And then we go up here, we do a rolling jump, and almost get hit by an icicle, and get yourself a fairy. There we go, that's number eight. Now to get up there... Oh, 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 oh. Um, I think the block needs to be all the way on the other side now, but I can't exactly just push it straight. Well, maybe I could just push it straight across. No, no, like, I would get stuck in that little alcove there. Yeah, so I do have to do this little move movement here, so I gotta go around the perimeter like so. And keep pushing it. This should be the last push after this push. And then I can go up there. Voila! By the way, to climb on a block rather than push it, see, like, when I'm just standing here and not pushing forward, it says grab. When I'm pushing against it, like walking up against it, it, press, it says climb on the action button. So, yeah. You just gotta wait for that to change to climb while you're walking against it. Alright, this is why I wanted to come up with you here, because remember that other room that I set up with those blocks there? Yeah, look at that, we can now cross to the other side, hopefully. <laughs> Don't fall, please. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go- Oh, jeez! <laughs> that was mean. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go all the way around again, and that would suck. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back over in this room, and I don't want to fall again, because Again, I'd have to go all the way around again, which would be sucky. And the ice in this room regenerates already, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> and then we end up on this portion of the floor here. Now, you're like, oh, we're, why are we going through this room again? Because it leads over to... Well, now there's a shortcut here that we can do. <laughs> because now it leads over to that pillar room in the middle. Remember the pillar room? And since we're at a higher level, we can now punch the living daylights out of these pillars. Yeah! Yeah! Take that pillar! And that pillar! Alright, I think that's probably a good time to end off this part because I have opened up new ways for the future. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the dungeon of doom of a pillar. It's, it's, it's the pillar dungeon, really. It's more... Yeah, ah, whatever. It's just... Ending off the parts. It's not really even a dungeon of doom. This has been very easy so far. 